hey guys welcome back to another episode so this is a more of a like freelancing guide part two if you have not watched the part one i, I will highly suggest you to go watch that part one where i where i shared everything about the freelancing what is freelancing how you can start freelancing what the skills you need what are the characteristics of the freelancing if you are not a freelancer or if you want to get start from the beginning then you have to watch the part one video first and you will get like the basic idea you will get you are if you are able to do it or not like i believe that everyone can do it it just takes little bit of guts it just takes li little bit of courage to do it but if you are new to this channel subscribe do let me know what do you think about this video go go on the instagram and follow me where i share a lot of content about the freelancing marketing books and a lot of stuff so i will highly suggest you to go first to watch the part one and if you have already watched the part one then let's get started in the part two so part two is more of a like kind of a thing where we talk about the skills where we talk we are we are going to talk about the learning phase and how learning is important how skills are important so let's get started so in the first as i told you it's more about the hunting the skills you have to hunt your skills like what are the skills you are already good at whether it's animation whether it's designing whether it's photography uh, whether it's web development whether it's website designing whether it's app development app development or whether it's marketing like i personally i personally work with the marketing so i know a lot of about the marketing and as a like my freelancing job is as a marketer uh, more of a, as a marketer so i'm more into marketing and i do designing little bit of not exactly but first you have to hunting your skills the more the meaning of hunting your skills is first you have to note down everything like how many skills you are really good at i mean you already know that okay these are the skills i have i can work on the photoshop i can work on the after effect i can design the website or i can do the photography work or what things you are really good at i mean really good at it's, it's just no, not like that uh, the clicking from the uh, doing something on the mobile or doing something for the fun you should be serious about your skill because skill is something you will get paid for i mean that's the only thing you will get paid for other than you won't get paid for so what is the learning phase learning phase is more about you need skills as i already told you you need at least one or two skills to understand or if you want to get started you need at least one kind of a skills so what are those skills we are going to talk in the next slide but first understand that skill is really important without skill you won't get anything it's a it's a take a simple example whenever you get placed in any of the company that you get paid for what you do not ex not what you get what you you get paid for what you do not like you are just sitting there obviously there are some people who get paid for that also but if you are if you want to really good if you want to you better if you want to be better yourself then you need first skills when you have skills you have to understand your performance how you are really good at how you are better than anyone else and on that basis you should get the results to your clients whether it's uh, international clients whether it's a local client you have to get them results i mean you will get paid for your results not for your skills you have to use your skills to increase your performance on basis of that performance you will get them results and on that basis of results you will get paid for if you can get them results in less than one week less than one month or if you can do a project in less than one month whether it's website designing or anything if you can do that in less than one month then you will get highly paid because you are giving them something uh, a three years of like if consider this if uh, there is one businessman he needs a website and for a full-time job he he cannot hire a full-time job because it will you have to pay them for 12 months or you have to pay them for a, a lot of time so rather than he will hire a freelancer who can do that work in one or one month or three months maximum so for that one or three months you will get highly paid as compared to that uh, full-time job so that's how that's how the results are important so consider this i'm going to give you an example in the further side but you have to consider that if you don't get results then you cannot work in the freelancing it's just not that easy as you think first you need skills you have to do a good performance and you get them results so this is i call it as a learning phase so i personally learn this by myself it's not like that someone someone here and taught me everything and i started freelancing i have learned by mistakes i obviously at the first time i had no skills like literally i have not anything i have no idea what are the skills so i used to do i used to work in a uh, mnc company as a design engineer in the mechanical field 
but side by side i develop my skill about the marketing about the sales person and i use that skill to attract international clients and on that clients on that basis of the clients i got paid for my results i give them results within a mic sometimes i do i do the marketing strategy for them sometimes i do i do the micro content for them so this is what i do for my clients and on that basis on the basis of results i get paid it's not like that just to create something and give them and they will pay you it's not like that they pay me for my results not my time time not my like whatever i give them so they pay me for my results so be important when you start learning learn from the performance based learn something that you love because you will tell that will give you the results that's how the learning phase is about so what is the skill you need a skill worth selling obviously you cannot choose a skill like very easy like there are many people who choose the data entry as a skill i mean do you really think in the data entry you need a really skill obviously i don't think so and more of a data entry is kind of automation thing and anyone can do that it's not like really good skill if you really want to survive in the world if you are thinking the thinking about the full time freelancing you need a skill that is worth selling there are a lot of skill in the market it's not like that just a, a website designing or the it people can do this anyone can do that it's not really hard you just need little bit of guts you just need little bit of improvement in your daily routine and you can really get paid really high for this your skill so first understand you need a skill worth selling what i mean by that you have to understand that what are the skills available for you first and what skills you can learn in one month or two month or upcoming months you have to really work on that skills so you will get that skill worth selling there are the some skills that i personally believe that this is really good and you can try that if you are not if you have don't have any skills the second thing you have to do is practice a lot of practice a lot i hell lot of practice i mean with the practice like there is a quote like with practice we get perfection i mean practice makes man perfect obviously obviously no one is perfect but practice makes man perfect so day by day when you do practice you get little better and when you do get little better you get confidence and when you get confidence you start working with the high paying clients or you start you start getting the high projects so you have to practice daily like i do my skills practice daily i try to enhance my i i try to enhance my skills i try to develop something new in every every day if you are like there is a thing that always when you start so like when you start from the zero like in the childhood we always learn that what is 1 plus 1 2 what is 2 plus 2 4 when you go like when we go into the 9th standard 8th standard we learn trigonometry trigonometry in the 10th standard we learn what is a uh, algebra geometry in the 11th standard we learn that what is the integration derivative like we are moving from the easy steps to the complex ste- complex steps this is the same thing this is the same thing you have to apply in the freelancing if you want to survive for the longer time the same way when you learn something basis you have to do it very fast you have to do it repetitively so when you do it that repetitively you you master up that basic skill and when you are done with that master skills you have to move ahead and learn something complex things if you don't learn you will not survive in the future believe me mark my words if you really want to be a really good freelancer if you want to get that freedom then you have to have to learn complex things the more complex things you will learn the more projects you will get the more complex things you will work on and the more higher projects you will get so it's important to practice a lot of practice you required when you starting there is a couple of tricks i am going to share with you that you can use to practice those things so what are the what are the time frame for the learning the skills that is because i now we are talking about the skills so what are the time frame usually you know if you are if you are a complete beginner if you have no idea about the skills then consider 3 to 6 month of a time period to learn anything because you know i have learned the marketing skills i mean the basic basic of the marketing in less than 50 days i mean obviously i have i was so passionate about it and i learned less than 50 days i mean you can do that if you are really passionate about it but usually time frame if you want to learn new skills you need at least 3 to 6 months believe me you have to learn it otherwise you will not get really good and you will never get the clients so learn the basics and start selling what i mean by this learn basic you know when you start learning your one any of four one skills when you know the basics start pitching for the clients start searching for the clients what are those clients i am going to share in the next slide so for that wait you will get idea about the what are those clients but when you learn basics start start searching for the clients whether it's from the your family relatives everywhere whatever they are start searching for the clients who will pay you or you can work from them for the free what i when i say working for the free understand that 
for the couple of project for to build your portfolio you have to work for free you will so you will get some data you will get some testimonial to add to your portfolio so when you do that you can work with the international clients you can pitch for the international clients you can go on the linkedin you want the you can go on the google and a lot of things you can do when when it comes to the clients but the basic things like if you are i am considering that you are a complete beginner so when you start learning basics start selling start selling your skills to your friends your relatives and everything so who will hire the new will like the next question comes that okay i am a new person i have no idea uh, i have no idea about the client who will hire me yeah i am a newbie that how i get placed the basic thing the, this is how i started when i started the marketing and sales i i asked all my friends i asked my all the family members i asked my, all my relatives do they need something that do they need help in the marketing do they need help need in the sales or do they need help need in this so you can say that okay i am learning so i am learning this 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 kind of a skill and i want to do something project in this thing, project in that way so do you have any of your friend or do you have any of your cousin or do you have any of your relative like they are looking for something so i can work for them this is how you have to start when you are a newbie so when you work from them for a free like obviously in this phase like in the newbie phase you are learning plus you are working with any client so when you are working with any of your client you are also learning so you will get some data to learn you will get a new questions you will get something to learn to the new so by this you will have a good amount of testimonial you will have good amount of data to add to your portfolio so do not fear to ask your friends do not fear to ask your family do not fear to ask your relatives because they are the trustworthy people they can trust you because you can you cannot go directly to the international client and say okay i am a newbie and hire me they they will never trust you if you want a trustworthy people because trust is trust is something you have to generate in the first place when you are a new freelancer so how to generate trust target all your family target all your friends and target all your relatives work from them free get testimonials from them and get your freelancing journey started so what are the skills to work on obviously this 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 slide should be a previous slide but i guess it's because of the mistake i did it so don't worry about it so these are the some of the skills that i can think about it first one is web design like every small business every new business they need a web design or they need a website so if you are really good at web designing then you can get really highly paid for that and i already made a one video that eight high paying jobs uh, available in the market right now you can check that job and you will get to understand that what are the things what are the eight high paying jobs you can work on it but this is something i believe this is really important fields and you can work on this and you can you can learn these skills in the 3 to 6 month and you can get started or start working on it the first one is web designing obviously web designing is more about the website the all kind of stuff we see on the internet the second one is marketing all the digital marketing not i am saying the digital marketing because digital marketing is going to be automated as soon so digital marketing don't have much of space but if you are more of a marketing strategy if you are more of a person who do marketing a lot of different ways if you are more of a, more into the content creation plus marketing if you know sales if you know law if you know product design if you know product marketing so then you can survive in the marketing field but if you are thinking about the digital marketing then it's not a really good field obviously you can start learning the digital marketing but you have to uh, scale you have to climb the ladder to get the highly paying skill as i said you have to learn the complex things so marketing is more of a complex topic it's not that easy if you are a, not a creative person it's not that easy if you are not if you don't understand the psychology it's not a really good field if you don't understand the consumer behavior like in the current time the behavior changes with every other week so if you don't understand then this marketing is not for you the third one is content creator or the copywriter the most easy field is the content creation there is a difference between content writing and content copywriting so if you want to know there is one video i already made what is the difference between content writing and copywriting you can check that video and you will understand much better i am not going to explain here in detail i am i will give you just little bit over if about a content creator it's something that they create content for their website they create content for their social media they create micro content for their website like if you have seen the gary v you will understand that gary v creates a lot of micro content so content creator is anyone can start it's not necessary you don't need a skill you don't need anything you can start any time content writing you just need little bit of data and you can start working working on it. when you become really good at content creator you can start working with the copywriting these are also high paying skill 
next scale is game design this is a, this is a kind of a complex things if you are really good at understanding games if you want to be in the game designing then you can start working with this for the game designing there are website there are few things uh, you have to understand some of if there is not necessarily that coding is required but there is an engine like unreal there is blender these are the these are the application you can use for the game design but it will it, it's it's a kind of a long time career you cannot just to start and start earning in the starting where the content writing or the marketing or the web designing or graphics or ui ux design this is a kind of a thing you can start making money as soon as you as soon as you start next the next one is ui ux design what is this ui ux design this is a user interface and user interaction so this is a kind of a when we see the application uh, if you open the instagram if you open any kind of application the way we see whatever we see on the screen it is known as the ui or ux so this is a kind of a thing in the phone and and every other new company coming every small business sometimes they read application they need someone to design their screen so if you are much good at creativity if you know ui ux then you can start with ui ux for the ui ux there is an application called the figma adobe xd but i will suggest to go with the figma because this mostly used application and it's easy to use and the another one is adobe xd the another thing is graphics what i mean by graphics graphics obviously first one is graphics design photo editing photoshop after effect if you are really good at video content creation if you are really good at graphics designing if you are really good at photoshop then graphics designing is all you need so these are the some of the skills obviously there is plenty other skill there are the ai artificial intelligence skill there are the you know uh, iot skills there are the cloud based skills a lot of skills available but these are the some of the skills i have worked with these are the some of the skills i know personally and these are the some of my friends working on these skills and they get paid for it so there is a lot of skill it's not like that you have to work on these skills but if you are a beginner then you can think about the content writing web designing or the graphic designing this is the basics to start with now the main question come that where are we can learn these skills okay so let me tell you one thing how i learn skills okay i learn everything from the google and youtube i have not done any course i have not uh, applied for any course i have learned by myself in from the college days till date i have learned everything from the google and youtube there is everything available you just have to you just have to know how to search you just have to know how to understand that but if you are really not good at understanding google if you are really not good at understanding from the google and youtube then you can take the courses the reason i will suggest to take the courses because when you uh, when you pay something or when you pay some amount for any courses you tends to feel that okay i have paid something i have to learn from that i have invested this much amount i have to get something back so that's how the courses work so if you are not good at learning from the free because i have seen people that when they start learning from the free they end up they giving up they they give up easily so it's better to go for the course and you will understand much better the third thing when you if you are learning from the google or wherever you are learning from the courses the third thing is experiment you have to experiment whatever you learn if you don't experiment you will no you will never get better at your skills so it's important to get better at skills and how you can be better at skills just by doing the experiments so if you want to be better at your skills you have to do a lot of experiment you have to learn something so here is a tip there is a three week challenge i am going to give you so when you i obviously uh, in the last side you have obviously pick up the any one skill and you have to do at least 3 hours for the 3 weeks daily whether you will get frustration whether you get you don't understand you have to do it every day 3 hours for the next 3 weeks and you will get the best out of the best results or you will able to give the competition to the some of the best designers or some of the best marketers in the world so this is what i did i did it's not only 3 week challenge i did more of a like 6 to 8 week challenge i used to read i used to learn every single day for 3 to 6 hours and this is what i did i learn this is a challenge i gave myself in the past past years that's why i am better at it so this is the best thing you can do give yourself challenge that okay for the next 21 days i am going to give 2 hours for this course or i am going to learn 2 hours for that in short if i want to give the example if you are starting with the photoshop then understand or if you are starting with the video editing part then you have to go at least 2 hours per day for the next 21 days whatever it is it good is it bad you have to give it give it that challenge and when you end when you are at end of your challenge you will understand much better that how you can learn that skill so i believe in learning by like i believe in learning by if you learn more then you will get better at it so experiment more learn more and you will understand much better how to use skills 
get complex now this is something really important like I, as i already told you that when we are as a child will when we were child we learn 1 plus 1 2 then we learn trigonometry then we learn integration then we learn derivation so we get complex things this is the same thing you have to do whatever the skill you pick up you have to go to the complex things if you don't go to complex things you will not survive in the future you will not survive in the long run because obviously it's not if you are if you are thinking about the making freelancing your full time job then you have to get complex you have to understand the supply and demand so what is supply and demand so when you start learning a new new skill so there is a time period of every skills obviously like every skills get acquired by saturated i mean what i mean by supply and demand that skills or the get that technology gets saturated and you have to move ahead of that saturation if you like if you don't move ahead of the saturation you will get very high less paid because everything becomes saturated everything becomes saturated and everyone knows what you are do what you are doing and you will not get highly paid so first thing is you have to get complex and second thing is uh, understand supply and demand the next part is what is one plus skills okay this is something i personally believe this is something i personally learned uh, you know in the in the past like past year i i was only working with the marketing i never thought about the design i never thought about the creatives so i was working with the only marketing and i realized that marketing is getting saturated and what if i if i want something more if i want clients more than i want something one plus what is that one plus one plus skills so here i am going to give you the example consider a and consider a versus b there is a person a who knows marketing only uh, marketing and there is a there is a person b who knows marketing who knows design who knows creatives and he knows better than a so what are the chances that a will get highly paid and b b will get highly paid obviously the the common sense is that b will get highly paid because he has something extra than a the same way you have to apply in your life when you are starting or when you are doing something you have to apply to your life you have to get complex you have to learn complex things and you have to go further ahead you have to be better than anyone else because see i cannot save everyone and the world cannot save everyone if you, you have to save yourself if you want to save yourself then you need one plus skill you need something extra than others so this is how you you need a one plus skill that's why i say that you need a one plus skill so okay now you got the idea about the what skills you need and what are the skills required to get starting your journey now i assume that you you will start after this video you will start working on your skills if not then this is not my fault i mean obviously i cannot help you but who are serious who are starting with their life then i will highly suggest you to learn sales and negotiation the reason why i go, why i am going to say this because see freelancing is a kind of a small business here you have to search for the client here you you have to pitch them here you have to work with them here you have to do the negotiation almost it's like a complete business and you will understand a lot of thing in this business because no one is going to taught you all these things you will understand by yourself you will understand by doing this is why i say that learn sales and negotiation how to learn there are a few videos available on the youtube about the negotiation probably i will make another video on the negotiation or the sales you will have to understand sales and you will have to understand how to do the negotiation so you can get better at sales and negotiation because you are now your own business you are a complete business freelancing is a kind of complete business you have to do everything you have to do marketing you have to do full time you you have to do your sales you have to do the negotiation you have to handle projects you have to handle clients you have to do everything so it's better to learn sales and negotiation there are few books also available on the negotiation i am going to make a video on that soon before i make the part 3 so there are the few available on that you can get better idea about how you can start now hope you have start and you have understood the what sales and negotiation what are the skills you required how you can start as a beginner how you can go on the youtube learn everything i hope you will understand much better than this and okay that's all for i guess today's video i have covered everything but i one thing i want you to tell you that when you start learning something start recording start documenting whatever you are doing uh, open another instagram account or open another youtube ch or youtube channel where record everything whatever you are doing like document everything whether you like consider this is as a challenge for you when like in the first day if you learn the photoshop then record video that what you learn in that photoshop so you will get better idea at the end of this challenge that okay this is the thing i started now at this place i am 
this is the place where i am right now so by this i have like i have done this for myself i know the feeling of challenge i know how it things works so i guess hope i have covered everything in the part 2 now it's your time to understand the skills now it's your time to understand everything in that skills and start working on your skills so if you are not connected on me on instagram there is go follow me on the instagram i share a lot of things about the books marketing futures a lot of things and i hope you enjoy this video you are enjoying this series if you are really enjoying then share me a dm that you start start learning something new and i will happy to help you so hope i have covered everything and see you in the part 3 see you in the next one bye bye